you. Senator Hawley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks to the witnesses for being here. Ms. Speaks Bachman, if I could start with you. Your company, Invenergy, is planning a, a high voltage transmission line across my state called the Grain Belt Express. You're familiar with this, I'm sure. I am, sir. As I understand it, this, this line, if built, would carry electricity from western Kansas to Indiana. It would cut across, right across the state of Missouri, 200 miles from west to east, eight counties, and cover hundreds and hundreds of farms. I understand you're also now proposing a second transmission line called the Tiger Connector Line, which would run north and south uh, from uh, Monroe County down to Callaway County. Farmers in my state have expressed a lot of concern with the Grain Belt Express and the use, your company's use of eminent domain. So let me just give you a chance to say what your response is to farmers and, and rural homeowners in my state who don't want transmission lines running over their farms, preventing them from planting crops or having their land taken from them for corporate use. Sir, thank you for the question. I, I would say that community engagement is first and foremost in our mind when we're developing any type of project. Um, and in addition, what we are thinking about is what is the necessity to make sure that lights stay on and that we can improve the reliability and resilience of these communities as well as across these communities from one to the others. And that's why we find it very important that we look toward uh, a, a, the larger view of what is necessary in the communities, but then at the state level, and what is in the national interest. And that's why we are continuing to work with communities to make sure that they are, um, uh, that, that they are understand what we're doing and that they give us feedback as to how we should develop these projects responsibly. You say the lights stay on. Are, are lights gonna stay on in the state of Missouri from this project? My understanding is, as originally planned, the transmission line wouldn't benefit the residents of Missouri at all. Light staying on uh, across the entire country. We're talking about. Not but you're taking Missourians' land. land. I'm sorry. You're taking Missourians' land from them. And we are. And you've gone to court. Your company has gone to court, and sued Missouri farmers to take away their land. Now, this isn't speculative. I mean, you've actually used this corporate power, which frankly I'm not sure you should have, to seize land from Missouri farmers that's been in their families for generations. Well, sir, I would, I would actually say that I think about um, we would have power that would go into, into communities in Missouri. So I, I would just, I, I'm happy. That's to the new Tiger Connector line. So after, after it was pointed out that your original Grain Belt Express did nothing for the state of Missouri, then you came back and said, well, we'll, we'll add something more. So what, what commitments are you going to give the farmers and residents of Missouri today that they'll actually benefit from this land grab? Yes, sir. Um, since we, as Invenergy, have taken over this project, we have done uh, an inordinate amount of community engagement. We will continue to do direct community engagement. Uh, this project did not start with us, but we took it, took it on, and we took it on with the, with the objective to make sure that the communities are uh, well spoken to and well heard from in order to make sure. What are they going to get? Are, there, are Missouri farmers and residents, are they going to get lower energy prices out of this? Are they, I mean, what, what are, how are they going to benefit? You're, you're putting a huge transmission line across 200 miles of land in the state of Missouri. You have gone to court to seize the land from Missouri farmers. You're a private corporation, aren't you? Yes, we are, sir. But how much money are you making on this? I'd have to get back to you on that. Would you? I'm really curious because you know, you've got Missouri farmers who, in many cases, these are small family farms. These are not massive corporate farmers. They, this land has been in their family for generations. They just want to be left alone and be able to farm. And you're a major corporation who's coming in here and taking them to court, literally, to take their land. And then the benefit they get from it is nothing, nothing for the state of Missouri. And you talk about the national good. So your message to them is, give us a big, rich corporation your land, or we'll take it from you, and you should just live with it. Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that that's not the message that we're trying to... That that's what they're hearing. Um, and I would say that since we did take it, since Invenergy took over this project, we have, we have changed direction of the, of, the, of the project. We've changed the path of the project to suit the community's needs and the community's demands. So will you pledge not to exercise eminent domain in the state of Missouri? I, I am not, I'm not authorized to, to... That's a no? That. 
I'm not authorized to make that commitment, but I will certainly get back to you. You know, that I think would be the kind, if you want to talk about rebuilding trust here, I think if you as a, as a corporation would say, you know what, we're not going to take your land from you. You talk about outreach to the community and, and benefits to the community. Why don't we start with, we won't take your property. Again, I'm, I'm not, it's not clear to me why you as a corporation should have the power to seize their property. I don't think you should. That apparently, that decision's been made, and I guess you do. But uh, I would just say, if you want to rebuild some trust, number one, why don't you show something for the state of Missouri, for the residents there, that you're going to do for them? And number two, why don't you pledge to them that you won't take them to court to take away their land so that they can continue to farm and raise their families and have their livelihood? I'm sure you still find a way to make lots of money. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.